Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro. I am so excited about today's video because I get to collaborate with three of my favorite creators here on YouTube, that being Brad and Donna, Lifted Eric, and Dylan John. These guys make absolutely amazing content, so you definitely need to go subscribe to their channels if you're not already. And I'm gonna actually have some appearances on their channel, so make sure you go check those out. With that being said, we are going to get into our favorite speed editing techniques in Final Cut Pro. What is up guys, I am Dylan, the other Final Cut Bro. Not the Final Cut Bro, but another bro who happens to edit on Final Cut. Maybe a lot of us. I, don't know. I first want to say thank you to Dylan for having me on the channel today And I'm gonna give you a couple of my favorite editing tips and they're all about making cuts and trimming I've gone over these tips a few times on my channel But obviously never on the other Dylan's channel if you have a clip that you're wanting to make a frame-by-frame frame Adjustment on click the end of the clip So the end is highlighted yellow and press period to extend a single frame and comma to trim a single frame if you hold down shift and do this, you can extend or trim by 10 frames. If there's a point in your clip where you would like to delete everything after that point, press Option right bracket to trim off the fat. The same goes for deleting a section of a clip to the left of the playhead. Go to the point you want the clip to start at and press option left bracket. This is handy if you have multiple clips that you'd like to end all together. So select them all and press option right bracket. If you have a clip on your timeline that just doesn't have the part of the clip that you'd like to be in the video, press T to bring up the trim tool and literally just drag your clip. This will keep the location and duration of the clip on your timeline timeline the same, but allow you to change what part of your clip is shown. If you hold down the T instead of just pressing it to bring up the trim tool, it will allow you to use the tool and then switch back to whatever tool you had up previously just by letting go of the key. You can create what is called a slide edit by holding option when you have your trim tool up and dragging your clip to where you'd like on the timeline. This allows you to keep the duration and clip media the same, but it changes the location that the clip is shown on your timeline. This is useful if you have a B-roll clip on your primary storyline and you are trying to decide where it would look best. Last tip here, press R to bring up the range tool and you can select segments of your clip and simply press delete to take out chunks of footage that you don't want. The same goes for your audio as well. If you enjoyed these quick tips, I have quite a bit more on my channel, so check them out when you get the chance. And once again, thank you, Dill, aka the Final Cut Bro. I will see you guys later. Hey guys, my name is Brad, and my channel is called Brad and Donna. Since we're talking about speed editing tricks, let me make this speedy and get straight into it. My favorite speed editing trick has got to be the copy and paste attributes feature. Let's say you have these two clips on the timeline here and you decided that you're going to grade this clip using a color wheels adjustment, a color curves adjustment, and then you add a vignette. You also decided to scale this clip up slightly and to reposition it. Now, instead of having to repeat these steps on the next clip, you can simply hit Command C, select the next clip and hit Command Shift V. You can choose which attributes you want to copy from one to the other. And in this case, it's everything. Just like that, you have all those effects and properties applied to this clip as well. But as handy as that is, there are a few other use cases where copying and pasting attributes is really handy. Let's say you have a bunch of images on your timeline and the first one we keyframe the scale from 100 to 120. If I hit Control V on this clip, you can see those keyframes here. Instead of repeating that process for every image, you can copy and paste the attributes again and you'll obviously have scale selected. But you can choose whether you want to maintain the keyframe timing or stretch to fit. The second image is longer than the first so if I have maintain selected and I show the keyframes here, you can see how it will scale up to this point and then stop. Let's remove the attributes by hitting Command Shift and X and with the scale selected, I'll hit OK. Let's paste the attributes again and this time select stretch to fit. Now those keyframes will stretch from the beginning of the clip to the end. And it will do that for every clip that you copy to. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for having me, Dylan, and I'll see you in the next one. What's up friends, my name is Eric and I have to say thank you to Dylan for intensivating our Final Cut bromance. See what I did here and letting me participate in that video. Now my speed editing trick comes super handy when you guys are working with larger projects. 
So instead of selecting all your great clips and moving them right away into the timeline, which is moving the mess from the library into the timeline, I highly recommend to go over your footage and create favorites. You can do that by selecting a piece of your clip and pressing F. See the green light on the top? That shows that this part is favorized. Now, once you've finished favorizing all your shots, simply switch the selection from all to favorites. Now, all the parts you favorized are visible here, which makes it even more easier to find your favorite clips. Now, guys, I hope that saves you a lot of time. If you're interested in more content from my side, check out my channel, Lifted Underline Eric. Thanks for watching. See you guys. The final speed editing trick that I want to share with you is adjustment layers. They are going to save you so much time. They're extremely easy to install if you don't have them already and I'll actually have a free download down in the description. You don't even need to sign up for a newsletter or anything. It's just going to be a straight up free download. So make sure you go and get that. Okay. So all we are going to do to install this is double click this zip file, go into your finder, find your movies folder, motion templates, and drag this adjustment layer into the titles folder. And now you have adjustment layers in Final Cut Pro. Let's go ahead and dive into Final Cut. So normally in Final Cut Pro, let's say we wanted to apply a LUT across the board. Well, I could select this first clip, jump into my effects and drag the custom LUT filter on here. And we could just select something like this teal and pink. And now this has this teal and pink look to it. But let's say that I wanna do this for all the clips. Well, normally let's say these are extra clips. I would have to command C, command shift V across the board to paste the LUT, which is great, except for if I make a change on this LUT, let's say I change the mix value. Now I have to change the mix value on all of them. And it can just be really annoying to have to change everything individually. So let's apply an adjustment layer to get to your adjustment layer. Just jump into your titles, find the adjustment layer subcategory here and drag that over the top. And this is going to act just like a regular title, except for there will be no text. So now with this adjustment layer applied, we can add the custom LUT to it, jump into our LUTs, explore LUT pack, teal and pink. And now, both of these clips have the LUT applied. So now if I change the mix value, the mix value would be applied across the board. So this can be extremely powerful if you have an effect that you wanna cross to your entire video, typically LUTs or color grades, um, corrections, all of that are a great place to use adjustment layers. That wraps up our favorite speed editing tricks in Final Cut Pro. Again, make sure you go check out Brad and Donna, Lifted Eric and Dylan John for way more editing content and filmmaking content and so much more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next week.